You're listening to KEXP at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at KEXP.org. I'm Cheryl Waters here in the KEXP studios with Stella Donnelly. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Oh, so excited. Such a big fan. And your new record, Beware of the Dogs, so wonderful. You've got a great band here. We'll meet you all in a minute, but can you just start us off with some music? Sure thing. This song's called Old Man. Donnelly live on KEXP, that song Old Man from her new album, Beware of the Dogs. Oh, 
Great. Stella Donnelly is live here on KEXP. Songs from the new album, Beware of the Dogs. And it is so fun to see you playing with this band. I've seen you play by yourself before, which was awesome. And uh, just seeing you spread your wings, you look like you're having a lot of fun. Oh, it's so great having having the band and being able to kind of share share the fun, you know, on stage. And, yeah, it just creates such a better a better atmosphere for me to play in. So, yeah, it's really nice. So you had a band in studio, which is a little bit different than your EP, which was somewhat bare bones. What was it like in the studio? Were you able to play with some new toys? And what was the experience like for you making this record? Yeah, I guess it's the it's the record I had always wanted to make, but you know, have, having I guess the resources to do so was such a great uh, such a great experience for me. And um, all these people in the room here, uh, Jack, George, Talia, and Jenny, uh, Talia and Jenny, uh, we we recorded it in our hometown in Fremantle and um, it was it was just a wonderful time. It was a very, very special time and I'm really glad I, I got to do it and I had, I had these legends with me. Yeah. And it must be so fun to bring these songs alive out on the road. Mm. Thanks for stopping by today. Thank you so much for having us. Tell me what it's like in Fremantle. I got to go a year and a half ago to Sydney and Melbourne. Cool. And Melbourne is such a great music city. What's it like where you're from? And actually, I know you spent a few years growing up in Wales mm. where you said, was, you know, made a big imprint mm. on your musical style as well. Tell mm. me a little bit about um, growing up with music and what it's like where you're living. Yeah, I mean, Fremantle and Perth uh, itself is quite isolated. It's very isolated. And I guess that gives us time as musicians to kind of hone our craft. And I mean, I played in Perth for about, you know, nine or ten years doing all sorts of different things, cover bands, other sorts of bands, playing not just singing and doing other things. And, and you know, I guess it gave me that opportunity to really work on my sound and my craft and, and how I wanted to put myself out there. Um, and, yeah, I, I feel like we really have that opportunity because of the lack of opportunity in a way. There's, like, less of an infrastructure for music. There aren't many labels over in Perth. There's no kind of, you know, there's no kind of label tycoon rocking up to your show to suffer you out at 16 years of age like no one cares about you in Perth so you kind of get that time to nurture um, your sound and stuff and then growing up in Wales um, you know I think it's something pretty special about the Welsh culture. There's no kind of qualms about singing, you know. You, the, anyone will sing. Any sort of person from any walk of life will sing a song. And it's, the, I guess, growing up in that sort of environment was really good for me um, as a child. Yeah. You talked about um, having the freedom to nurture your musical um, love and aspirations growing up as you did. And it appears to your fans who discovered you more recently like, it kind of just happens so quickly for you. It, but it sounds like you've really been playing music and been involved with music for a very long time. I know that once you got some songs out there, things moved a little bit quickly. But how has that been for you? It kind of feels like it's your birthday and someone's bought you a voucher for skydiving and you're terrified of planes and skydiving, but it feels really good to do anyway. And it's kind of like that every day. You just have these moments of like, okay, I'm going to jump now. Okay, I'm jumping now. And yeah, it's kind of this really scary, exhilarating 
art feeling and yeah it's really nice now I mean I toured solo for two years after the EP came out and that was that was a really interesting experience and I'm so glad that I got to do that but I think after a while um, you know doing that alone can kind of take a toll on the you know just the the kind of being able to stay strong and stable uh, through that so it's been really nice to be able to share um, share this skydive. <laughs> it's a tandem sort of skydive now with everyone, so that's nice. Sorry, I'm really dragging this metaphor out. <laughs> I love that, though. You've actually worn, worn your skydiving outfit have, today yes, as well. Suit, yes. <laughs> it's a great metaphor, though, because it's scary the first few times, but if you love it, you mm. keep doing it, mm -hmm. but the exhilaration never probably goes no, away every time you away. jump. And it's never less scary either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks for continuing to do it. I, I just love your songs and I, they're so fun to sing along to. They're somewhat breezy and especially old man right now. I could play that a hundred times in a row oh, and not get tired of it. I know our listeners agree. Every time I play it, I get a ton of response from listeners who are listening all over the world. But the, the topics in your song are anything but breezy and you are unabashedly and unapologetically fully yourself, which must be such a freeing feeling. You're not putting, you know, any veils in front of who you are. Tell me a little bit about the way you approach writing your songs and, and performing them. I think it's because I performed covers for such a long time. So I essentially put on a costume every night and um, I, I kind of knew that I couldn't continue doing that as a musician anymore. Um, and then I guess... Uh, you know, in my lyrical content, I am quite, uh, I can be quite harsh and, and real and I, I try not to hold anything back. Um, but then I guess I try and create a, a more of an inviting sound, I guess, instrumentally and sonically around that to kind of, you know, lure you in <laughs> and then get you with the lyrics. Uh, but yeah, I guess I try and, you know, also create a nice situation for myself, being able to speak about issues that I really care about or situations that I've been through um, whilst also you know, not kind of just like screaming it at you and, and just like playing a really harsh thing. It's like nice to be able to kind of shroud it in uh, cotton wool. They're very honest. They're very direct, which I love. They're very important stories and they're real stories, it sounds like. Mm. Yeah, and I think for me uh, it helps me process and analyse what I experience or what I see or how I feel about things and, and try and like question myself as well and, and how I approach life. <laughs> Well, yeah. for listeners like me that hear the music before the lyrics and you're singing along and swaying, I highly recommend that you take time to dig into these lyrics. They're very important. And um, I'm so happy that you're here today at Stella Donnelly live on KEXP playing more songs yes, from Be this, Aware of the Dogs. Yes. Oh, I just want to say super quickly, mm. or I want to ask, I feel hypocritical asking you this since I've asked you not to swear today, yes. although that's not me, <laughs> that's the Federal Communications Commission <laughs> that's asking you, but the cover of this album is brilliant. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, the cover is um, essentially, well, many people have actually thought that, it, that it's an egg that someone's trying to feed me, but it is indeed soap, and someone's trying to wash my mouth out with soap, I guess. And um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of poke a little fun at that whole, you know, you don't sound like a young lady, young lady. So <laughs> that kind of attitude, yeah. Well, Stella Donnelly is here live on KEXP. Take it away. This song's called Beware of the Dogs. haunted like a beast that doesn't know its face is frightening to behold all the painted little nose smiling in a light trying to get your Bye. 
Mm, so beautiful. Stella Donnelly live on KEXP, the title track from her new album, Beware of the Dogs. listening to Stella Donnelly live on KEXP. Thank you all so much. That was wonderful. Thank you so much, Cheryl. I love this station so much. It's so lovely to be here. Well, we hope that you come back with your next record. And thanks for making time before you head down to Portland mm -hmm. today, playing at Polaris Hall tonight. If you're down or anywhere near Portland, go out and see Stella Donnelly. Thanks again to all of you. Thank you. Thanks to all of our wonderful listeners and donors for making sessions like this possible here on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.